Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be about shopping online, how I shop online, how I save money, some tips and tricks and hacks and also I'll be sharing my rules. <laughs> I will also be talking about luxury items so not only luxury items but high street and premium items as well that I no longer allow myself to buy and why. Um, so if you're interested, keep watching. So first I want to show you how I shop online and one of the most amazing genius shopping apps. It is called ChopTagger and I'm partnering up with them to film this video again. I have partnered with them before and I've been using the app for more than a year now and it's so helpful. I will also insert a short clip so you can see how it works. It keeps track of all your favorite items. Uh, you can organize everything into categories. I used to take screenshots of all the items that I wanted to buy and you know how the camera roll on iPhones is everything is in one place mixed with photos screenshots and all that and you have to organize it in folders and I didn't like doing that and shop tagger is genius because it organizes everything in categories by brand retailers you can also create different folders for example shoes clothes bags wishlist shop tagger tells you when there is a price drop so you can save up up to i think 50 percent off if not more it also tells you when an item is back in stock and i've missed so many good items that i've wanted because they were sold out so if an item that you're currently wanting and lasting after is out of stock you can put it on your shop tagger app and shop tagger will notify you once it is back in stock so you don't miss out um so that's great i love shop tagger it is so helpful it is a genius app Rule number two is don't buy it only because it is trendy and every blogger has it. Ask yourself a question before you buy something that you see, let's say on Instagram or on another blogger. Is it really something that goes with my lifestyle, wardrobe, or would I be using this on a day-to-day -day basis? I'll give you an example with the ugly sneaker trend. Let's say the Balenciaga sneakers or the Louis Vuitton sneakers. I would never buy them. I'm not gonna wear them. So I think it is very important to ask yourself how often are you going to wear them? Is it going to be practical? So think about cost per wear. If you work in an office, how often are you going to wear the ugly sneakers? Only on the weekend when you're off? It's not really worth spending so much on a pair of designer shoes. Even High Street, I know so many other High Street brands start doing the ugly sneakers. You can find them in Topshop, you can find them in Zara. But is it really you? So it's very important to ask yourself that question. Every time I see something cool on a blogger, the first thing I'm thinking is, Maria, are you going to wear that? Are you only buying it because everyone else has it? <laughs> Just because it looks good on a blogger, it doesn't mean it will look good on you. When you see something on Instagram, you have to remind yourself that's not your lifestyle and you are not going to get a lot of views out of it. So the best way to see if you really, really want an item and if you really need it is to create a wish list and see how long it will stay on your wish list. Take your time, go around the shops, try on the items, see how you feel. Try to style it in your head, go home and sleep on it. If I don't start wearing something within two weeks, I have to return it. I buy a lot of stuff all the time. I love shopping and I do buy a lot. But I have a separate shelf in my wardrobe, in my closet room, where I put all my new purchases. And if I haven't worn something within two weeks, I usually return it because I know I'm not going to wear it. That means you're not very excited about the items. If I'm very excited and really love the item, I would start wearing it immediately. I've noticed that I have so many clothes on my hangers, in my wardrobe, that still have tags and this is really bad. <laughs> I used to buy clothes, put them on hangers and inside my wardrobe or fold them in my drawers, which was a huge mistake. And I never do that again. Once you put them in your wardrobe, you just forget that they're there because they're all mixed with your other clothes. Try putting outfits together to see how you will style it. You should be able to style certain items in many, many different ways. If you can't do this, if you can only style it with one or two pieces in your wardrobe, it's not worth buying, go and return it. 
It is very important to invest in good quality pieces. There is a huge difference when you buy high street items and luxury or premium items. The cut is different, the fit is amazing and the quality as well. It will last you longer, it will fit you nicer. Invest in classic pieces. I know not everyone can afford to buy a luxury and premium pieces all the time. So when you're buying good quality, more expensive pieces, invest in more classic designs. Trends change so quick, it is almost impossible to keep buying expensive clothes, shoes and bags all the time um, if you want to follow the trends. So even when you buy high street pieces, make sure they fit you nicely and they're good quality, the stitching is nice and the materials are nice as well. to create a capsule wardrobe. If you're interested, I can film a video about how to create a capsule wardrobe. What a capsule wardrobe means is a, again, good quality classic pieces that are forever pieces. For example, a tweed jacket, a nice pair of jeans, black pair of jeans, blue pair of jeans, uh, some basic tops, black, white, nude, leather biker jacket, denim jacket. These are all items that never, never go out of style. So think about what doesn't go out of style and invest in good quality pieces to create a capsule wardrobe. Don't buy something only because it went on sale. I've made that mistake so many times and it's so tempting. If the jumper season is over and you see a nice jumper on sale, don't buy it because it won't be trendy next winter. You won't wear it for another, let's say, six months. You'll forget about it. Trends change. We tend to buy things that we don't really need. So be careful with sales. Have a look at your wardrobe, your accessories, your bags, your shoes and see what you wear and what you don't. For example, I have a rule, I don't allow myself to buy any more rings. I don't wear rings, I have a few rings, a few very expensive rings. Just because something is cute, don't buy it. For example, I bought this really, really amazing Fendi ring for Valentine's Day, I wanted to treat myself and I bought myself this really cute uh, Fendi ring but I never wore it, I literally wore it once um, or like twice when I first got it and then I stopped wearing it and I knew that I don't wear rings but I was like mm, this is a very nice everyday ring, it's more dainty and I'm going to wear it. No I didn't wear it, that was a huge mistake, it was a waste of money. So have a look at your wardrobe, see what you don't wear. I don't really accessorize much as you can see, I don't wear rings, earrings and I like to be more minimal and like for example now the only accessory that I'm wearing is this Chanel necklace. So I've just realized that this really annoying white uh, strap was showing <laughs> and I tried to hide it now so sorry if that was distracting. My next rule is detox your wardrobe. As a blogger and YouTuber, I receive a lot of clothes. I do buy a lot of clothes myself. So I realized how important it is to detox your wardrobe twice a year. I have so many clothes, more than I need. I have so many clothes in storage, in boxes. I have suitcases full with clothes. So it's really, really hard for me to clean my wardrobe and get rid of clothes that I no longer use and want. When you're clearing out your wardrobe, make sure you go through every single item and think about when you've last worn it. If you haven't worn something for more than six or 12 months, get rid of it. If you want, actually I can make a video because I'm currently trying to detox my wardrobe. It is really hard, but if you want, I can film a video and show you how I organize my wardrobe, how I detox my wardrobe and give you some tips and tricks. For example, I uh, started doing this thing. I organized everything in three sections or three boxes in my case. I have a box for eBay and things that I can sell that are quite new and still have tags. I have another box with items that I can donate and another box with items that I have to get rid of and like recycle. <laughs> I have so many beautiful items that just sit in my wardrobe and collect dust. Actually, you'll be surprised how much money you can make from selling your old clothes that you no longer wear um, on eBay. So you can try that and get yourself some new clothes or bags or shoes. <laughs> Number 
My next rule is another very, very important one. And again, I'm guilty um, of not doing that. <laughs> but it is to save up for the items that you've been wanting and dreaming about for a very long time instead of buying uh, something else. So for example, if your dream bag is the Chanel Jumbo and you start saving and you save up enough or you're almost there don't be tempted and um, go and buy something else. It is very easy to get swept up into trends and forget about that Chanel Jumbo and buy um, two or three other bags instead. At first you'll be happy about your three new designer bags, but after a while you will regret not buying the one bag that you've wanted for ages. If you buy something else, you will still end up wanting the item that you initially wanted to buy and that you initially uh, were saving for. And unfortunately, you would have to start saving up all over again. All right, guys, that's all. I really hope this video was helpful and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to come follow me on my other social media platforms, which you can see here on the screen. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. You can come follow me on Instagram. I post outfit of the day pictures. You can also shop my looks there and my latest purchases. So make sure you come and say hi. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.